After the Permian extinction erased the great Glossopteris forests from the southern continents, Gondwana entered a long phase of ecological emptiness. But during the Triassic, a new kind of vegetation began to spread across these barren landscapes, the dicroidium flora. Dicroidium plants were seed ferns, but unlike earlier forms, they evolved a remarkable range of leaf shapes, from simple narrow fronds to the iconic forked leaves that give the group its name. These leaves formed dense thickets along rivers and floodplains, helping to stabilize soil in a world still recovering from global collapse. Their reproductive structures were equally diverse, showing how this group experimented with multiple evolutionary strategies at a time when plant life was reinventing itself. Dicroidium forests dominated Australia, India, Antarctica, South Africa, and South America, becoming the signature flora of southern Pangaea. In many Triassic fossil beds, entire layers of rock are packed with their leaves, telling the story of forests that grew back faster than animal life could keep up. These plants provided habitat, food sources, and the first complex canopies since the end of the Permian. Although dicroidium eventually disappeared by the end of the Triassic as climates shifted and conifers expanded, its role was crucial, it rebuilt Gondwana's green cover and served as a bridge between ancient seed ferns and the modern gymnosperm-dominated landscapes that followed. Dicroidium represents the resilience and creativity of plant evolution during Earth's long recovery, a reminder that forests can rise again even after near-total destruction.